Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about a quarter to one. It is the 9th of September, Tuesday. 66 and 66 and cloudy and overcast and 17.8 degrees Celsius. Well, welcome back to the Horde. I actually wanted to work on something. You know, I got a million things to do, but you know, you bring home toys and you want to figure out what kind of shape they're in. So, one of the toys I've brought home recently is, oh, let me get something else to show you guys too, um, is that ugly ATC 90. And there are certain bikes that, if they're junk, I'm uh, not going to keep. Um, and that, that would be one of them. If I discover that the engine is no good on this thing, you, you know, there's there's really no reason to keep it around. It needs to turn into parts fairly quickly. Excuse the bad camera work, guys. This is the second of those carburetors that I bought. They were uh, like, I don't know, 16, 17 bucks each. So I bought two of them. And I'm unwrapping this one so that I can uh, show you the way the choke is. It has a cable choke, right? Put the cable through this thing here. And then when you pull the cable, it closes the choke. Now I gotta show that to you for a specific reason. When I went to Bolt, I bought two of them, so the other one of these onto the bike. Um, all of this was too tight up against the frame, so I had to remove it. Um, so I, I'm just showing you this. So currently, I have no choke on this thing. So once again, take note of all this. And when I show you this guy, take note, it's not, right? I had to take all that off. So I bolted the carburetor up, and I gave it a pull, and it kind of puttered. So I figure what I'll do is, there's a good possibility of it going to start, so I'll show you guys. Um, this line here is actually the drain line that goes on the bottom of the carb. see it here right right here I recycled it as a gas line and hooked it up to my little bottle on eBay these bottles are to wash tattoos as you're as you're putting them on somebody I guess so let me see if she'll fire up for us mess with it some more. Oops. I um, checked the oil. The oil's good. Um, it's interesting. The engine smells like an old engine that I used to work on back back when I was a kid. They, they don't... It's kind of a... Um, 
more of a burnt chocolatey, burnt chocolate smell. I think, I guess, they had when I was a kid. Now, now they smell different. Like the diesel, if you smell the oil, smells a little bit waxy. Um, actually, it seems that most oil now seems to have more of a waxy smell to it than the, uh, than the old oil. Anyway, just wanted to show you. She fired up. So, uh, there's that. I'm going to spend a little more time on it. I really do want to get it out for a ride. That one back tire, the one closest to us, keeps running running low on air. I'm hoping I can get air in it long enough to take it out for a ride. They... I'm not sure what these tires are off of. Probably golf cart, but it uh, appears to be a five-bulb golf cart. This thing had the old-fashioned tires on it you know the big ballooners and what he did is he cut the center out and welded them to these golf cart wheels so um, should that back tire be no good things get interesting I guess I can replace the tire on the rim or I could put a tube in it um, I guess that that'll get it up off the ground and then I'll just drive around in circles with it as a slick for the time being um, I guess that's part of the charm, charm of this whole rig. All right, it's been six, seven minutes. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Until then, remember to keep your tires down, your heads up, live, love, and have a great time. And remember to enjoy the day God has given you. Bye now.